Two families lost their homes, and in Livingston County, a family lost their business. We caught up last night with one of the firefighters who tried to save the dairy barn, and today I went to Strawn to see the aftermath. This is all that's left after crews battled a dairy barn fire for hours. Close to a dozen departments surrounding the Strawn area responded to a call. Some of the departments on scene tonight were Sibley, Gibson, uh, Melvin, Roberts, Piper City, uh, Cropsey, Anchor, Colfax, Cooksville, Fairbury, I believe maybe Pontiac. It was a structure fire with close to 140 animals trapped inside. But with high winds and freezing temperatures, it was a hard battle to fight. They made it a little difficult for us, but, you know, trying to keep water moving in the pumps as much, as much as we could. The barn owner, John Mueller, says the fire started while he was doing some work to prepare for the winter storm. His truck caught fire and flames quickly moved to the rafters. He says it didn't take long for the wind to do the rest. Within minutes, the flames moved throughout the entire barn. Temperatures were so low that water was freezing after coming from the hose. Crews had a tough time fighting the fire and saving the animals. Of the 140 cows inside, only 50 of them could be saved. And of the 50, Mueller wasn't able to keep any. Some had to be put down, others were moved to another dairy barn. The destruction of the barn put an end to three generations of dairy farmers. Mueller says at this point, he doesn't know if he will continue. Mueller says he's thankful no one was hurt and for the support from his community. We also went to Hoofston this afternoon to see the aftermath of those fires. You'll see how the community is reacting there tonight at 10. Jess, back to you. All right, Ariana, thank you so much.